Christmas Eve, everyone. My first video, I did, I showed you how to do green bean casserole. And my second video for today, I'm going to show you how to do pineapple stuffing. I already dried the bread out. I put it in the oven and set it around 170 and let it dry out completely. You know, you, you're going to have to keep going in and feeling it to see how, how it feels. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to cut these up in pieces and I'm going to put them in the pan. I have uh, 24 pieces of bread here, by the way. This is how you cut the bread up. I make it in little squares. You can buy it already cut up, but then you have to figure out how many slices are in there. So it's better if you just get the bread, dry it out, and then cut it up. So I'm dropping it in the pan. And I'm going to complete all of these. Then I'm going to show you the next step of how to make the mixture. My next step is I'm going to do what they call creaming the butter and the sugar together. I have two sticks of butter and one and a half cups of sugar. Because I doubled the amount of bread, I wanted to put more um, of the butter and sugar in there instead of what's in the actual recipe that you're going to see later. And I have five extra large eggs. It calls for large eggs, but I have extra large eggs. And I'm going to cream the sugar and butter together, and then I'm going to add the eggs one at a time, and I'll show you how to do that. So we're starting the next one. All the eggs, sugar, and butter are incorporated together. It's called creaming. Now I'm going to add the pineapple. You want a 20 ounce can of crushed pineapple. And because I've doubled the bread, I'm adding a little bit extra pineapple. We don't want it too sweet. Don't want it overly sweet. And the pineapple adds a lot because it's a can. It's got regular syrup from the pineapple, so the juices, and that's already sweet. We're going to mix all that together. My mixture is complete with the egg, pineapple, sugar, and butter. Now I'm going to pour it over the cubed bread. Once you have the bread and the um, egg sugar mixture all mixed together with the bread, you put it in a pan and then you cover it with foil. Well cooked because it does have egg in it. So we're putting it in the oven. 
Like I said, it's going to cook for approximately 40 minutes. You want to be sure to cook it at least that long because it does have eggs in it. Once uh, it is done cooking for the 40 minutes, I'm going to take the foil off and let it bake for maybe another 5 to 10 minutes without the foil on. And then I'm going to turn it on broil so it can toast the top of it. And what I do as an extra little precaution, because when you put it on broil, it can burn the bread. I take some um, butter cooking spray and I spray around the edges. That way the middle can get done without burning up the edges. If you want to see more of my recipes, go to my YouTube page. Be sure to hit subscribe and the bell notification button. So this is what the finished product looks like. Browned on the top, not burned. And I'm gonna taste it. Mm. Delicious. Manja.